Hi guys, my name is Natushi. Welcome to my channel. So we are going to go through BTC Ethereum today. So since yesterday, from the last video that I did talk about, we did have a push up to 26,800. And this was combined with a liquidity area that we did have. It is also the 61.8% level. As we spoke about, if you had your shorts right here, maybe some people, their stop losses have been taking right now. But this was one of the levels that we did talk about and we have hit that level. Going down to the lower time frames, you can also see right now that we are rejecting the 61.8% level. You know, usually what I do is that I go in for sell limit orders around these levels. In this case, it's sell limit order. And if I would have this right now, and when I'm taking my trade on either BTC or Ethereum, these are my two favorite ones to trade on. I will take it on Bitflex. And if you also want to have a platform to trade your cryptocurrencies, then me and Bitflex have a collab now when you're using my link in the description down below the video, also pinned right here up in the corner when you are depositing a hundred dollars and when you're placing your first trade, you will get a $10 back. So this is a cryptocurrency platform you have from two X to a hundred X and you don't need any KYC for this platform. And Bitflex also have a app. So wherever you are in the world or whatever you're doing, you will be able to place your trade, which is very beneficial. And we all want that. We want to feel free when we are taking our trades or when you are at work, whatever you are doing, you will be able to do this. This is of course also how you are supporting my channel. So I'm always available for you, but yeah, let's go in and see the levels that I could potentially find my short positions and what confirmation I'm waiting for before I take them on it we would see, I would obviously be in profit, but the thing that can still happen, because if we're going to USDT right now, we can see that we have some a momentum now to the downside. So if USDT is breaking below this support at 8% at and we do continue down to this level, down to 7.75%, when we are breaking, when we are dropping down from USDT on BTC, what we will see a continuation to the upside. So before I do anything on BTC, what I would love the market to do, what I want the market to do for a short position is that I want to start to see the market creating more lower lows and lower highs, because if not, based off that USDT is also now testing the support level. And if we see that drop, most likely the other levels that I've been talking about is 27,620, 28,540. And if the market just give us a higher low down here and we continue to break above the 61.8%, most likely we will reach these levels. So I'm not going in for a short position just yet because I want to see the market start to giving me more rejection around this level because that will give me a better confirmation that the market will give me that drop because we are still creating higher highs and higher lows on the lower time frames and of course i want to see a break of structure just one retest is not giving me enough information for me to go in in a in, in a cell right now so i'm i'm waiting patiently for the market to give me more data before i do anything on it right now and one thing that we also can see is that we see a big break through that 61.8% that we have right here. And then we just might see the market creating the drop below the 61.8% again. And most likely we usually, you know, when the market does reverse, we see a head and shoulder formation. So I'm waiting for that to happen. But of course, if I see the market breaking above the 61.8% level, I want to see if we're going to start to have more bearish momentum. And that will be me considering going in for a short position when it comes to BTC. But right now, you know, we're just testing the level and I'm patiently waiting for the market to give me this. And sometimes what happens is that we see the market consolidate a lot around this area but we are at a resistant level. We are at the 61.8%. But if we see another huge spike up the way we saw here, I am waiting for that rejection. Because if you just go back in time, if the market starts to look like this, 
and just taking another fib from this high to this low, you can see how we pull back up to the 50% once again. So I'm waiting for the market to give me this kind of scenario before uh, around these levels right here. So waiting for that fake out to the upside or that big momentum and then see the market reverse and around those levels that's where i will enter a short position and make sure to also subscribe to my channel hit the notification so you know when i am live or when i do have my daily updates because i will give you the updates on what the market is giving us tomorrow because you know right now the market isn't giving us enough data for this when it comes to Ethereum right now, what's happening is that we are breaking inside of the support once again. So if we're just using the same Fibonacci, we are actually testing the Fibonacci right now also on the 50%, just the way that we see on BTC. So if we have another push, we just might retest 1,665 also. And I'm just waiting for the exact same scenario here. We'll either see the market continuing with the high highs and higher lows, and for Ethereum, we're still looking at 1,740, 1,800. And the same way, we're looking for the market to give us this big momentum up and then start to see the market reverse on the lower time frames. And that's when I will consider my next short position for Ethereum. And also make sure to follow me on my Twitter because this is also where I will give you updates when I'm not live or when I, when I don't have my daily updates because there's a lot of things that are happening so this is the platform where i will will upload the the latest data that we have for the currency so you have the link right up here and you also have all of my social media in the link down below the video and until we see each other in tomorrow's live stream i wish everyone a fantastic day okay bye